controversial priest brings his message against same-sex marriage to Cincinnati. You can see it was standing room only at a hall on the Athenaeum campus, but outside protesters stood for hours in the cold opposing the lecture. The Reverend Thomas Paprocki used the Bible as a reference for his teaching, but many asked about tolerance and the Pope's recent statements about same-sex relationships. Not on your side, Natasha Williams is live downtown. Natasha? It was a small group of protesters, but they stood in the cold for hours to make sure their message was heard, too. Uh, asking them to pray for this issue. A packed house at the Pastoral Center at the Anthenaeum campus to hear the controversial Springfield, Illinois bishop, nationally known for opposing the legalization of same-sex marriage. I have yet to see or hear any analysis, jurisprudence, legislation, argumentation, or explanation of how a so-called same-sex marriage is consummated. Reverend Thomas Paprocki spoke using his biblical background as well as his law degree as to why he and other Catholics believe same-sex marriage should not be legal. Neither two men, nor two women for that matter, or three or more people can possibly form a marriage. Marriage is the union of a man and a woman. But protesters gathered outside the seminary gate say Reverend Paprocki's message is out of step, even with the Pope. The Pope has said very clearly, let's focus on poverty, let's get off of these other issues, and we're really wondering, why is the Archdiocese doing this? And finally, my partner and I have been together for over 26 years. This kind of stuff is mean and hateful and does a lot of harm, particularly to young LGBT youth. And I believe that people like myself who are not gay or, you know, within the LGBT community ourselves, but we need to come out and support them because this is the right thing to do. And I'm wishing our church could maybe open its heart and its mind. Now, protesters say to bring the bishop to Ohio who greeted the state's marriage equality law with a live exorcism to them is a slap in the face. But supporters of the bishop say his message is needed. They say same-sex relationships are leading to the breakdown of what they call the true family. Reporting live in downtown Cincinnati, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side. Thank you, Natasha. The state of Kentucky must recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. That tonight from a federal judge. In the 23-page uh, paper, it says that Kentucky's laws treat gay and lesbians differently in a, quote, way that demeans them. The constitutional ban on same-sex marriage was approved by Kentucky voters back in 2004. Today's decision came in lawsuits brought by four same-sex couples hoping to force the state to recognize their out-of-state marriages.